is Everett Abrams, the Wizard of Wood. I want to do a little video on the difference between ambient temperatures and surface temperatures. One valuable tool you'll want to start with is an infrared thermometer. And you can just aim it at a surface and get a reading. And that's what we want to do. And these are important, this is an important tool in wood restoration because we really want to look at surface temperature, not your air temperature. I'm in southern New Jersey. It's a January day. We're supposed to be into the 50s for a few days. I wanted to check on a project that we had started in the winter uh, before the or before the winter, before the weather changed. And we just wanted to get an idea of where we were at. So anyway, uh, it was cool last night. And you can see the reading is 38, 39 uh, on a clouded side of the house, cloudy side of the house. And as we walk around, you'll see the same thing. Colder areas, there's 41, 40, and you'll see it's pretty cool. Now, watch as we walk around to the other sides of the house. This is where you really will see the difference. And this doesn't matter any time of the year to look at the surface temperatures because they're more important. It can be too hot. We have to watch out for flash drying. Uh, and watch the difference here on this reading. temperatures in the 70s and then we go back down where the sun's not hitting it. So this is why we're talking about using ambient temperatures, uh, uh, surface temperatures over ambient temperatures. They're more important and the difference uh, you'll see um, when you're working in the sun and not in the sun. As you can see the differences here. So be careful, be uh, wary of your surface temperatures. Uh, much more important than the ambient, get an infrared thermometer. You can pick those up uh, any of your big box stores or hardware stores, and uh, very valuable. Okay, this is Everett Abrams, the Wizard of Wood. Hope that tip helps you out.